Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs, and we continue to stream stories of entrepreneurship, leadership, uh, and this economy and how chaotic it is and the changes that everyone is having to make. And probably our leader are talking about how to make change in this economy, especially personnel change, is Mark Zwetschkenbaum, Mark Z from Mark Z Legal Staffing. And we weekly have our Mark Z moment. Do it to us, Mark. Jeff, great to be here. Just uh, always a pleasure being on the show and talking about um, very um, relatable, very topical issues that um, affect our audience. So one of the things that um, that you and I have actually had a lot of talk about has been inflation lately and how um, inflation has been the highest, I guess, in March. It's it, um, it's eight and a half percent. They measured it was the highest since 1981, and um, it's really um, affecting everybody at the gas pump for um, um, goods and, and uh, services. Uh, everybody's um, raising their um, um, prices or rates, and that's challenging to people. And that also has a domino effect with employers, employees. And um, what I what I wanted to point out, it's already being challenged because of it's already it's already being a challenge in the market to retain employees. It's already being a challenge to try to come up with um, new ways to hire people at the same time being fair internally to your employees and also employers finding new ways to grow with the shortage of employment. Now you have inflation and you have employees that are gonna to continue to have some challenges and that's built into all the other points we've talked about. So there's some articles that I've read and particularly in the human resources executive that, that had some really good points that employers should keep their eye on the ball in terms of um, one thing that worked in the pandemic was a hybrid schedule. When you have a hybrid schedule and not saying, okay, we're gonna have a hybrid schedule until July, then have people come back. Well, it's worked for two and a half years, really think seriously of keeping the hybrid schedule because that's gonna help employees with um, costs of gas, costs of food, costs of eating at home, other expenses that by not having to come into town every day, that's going to save them money. Also, another another good point that was mentioned, you're going to have uh, health care premiums that are going to be going up. Well, maybe in this case, don't pass them up. I mean, maybe your profit's going to be a little less, but long term, it's going to help because employers are now going to be challenged not only by the higher cost, but what they're going to have to pay in terms of premium costs. And... Um, and another point that's also being made, really watch when you're looking to retain employees, not only a lot of unilateral, um, a lot of unilateral salary increases that a lot of employers have made, but also remember, I think the average they're doing um, is about 4%, really think seriously, keeping that line with inflation and keeping to that um, because that's gonna help workers in their challenging situations. Well, you know, in the olden days, these cycles were not as dramatic. And we used to see, you know, where it was, uh, you know, it was an employer's market, it was an employee's market, salaries would go up, then they would, be, they would start to go down and people said uh, employers would change employees because salaries were too high. Right now, what we're seeing is there's not enough staff, there's a labor shortage, salaries are at a highest rate ever in terms of increases. And if that pendulum swings again, I would be warning employees ahead of time, don't go for the full 100% of what you think you can get right now. Go for the company you think you wanna stay at long-term and make your best deal. Because if you really extract the highest salary you can get right now, I'd be worried in the next year, year and a half that you might be on their target list when salaries come down again. Correct. You got to think strategically. And that's what I tell when we place candidates in roles, we want the right fit. If we, if we see they're only looking for a salary increase 
we, we um, really discourage them because first of all, it's not, it's not a long-term sustainable situation. And then they're going to move. Eventually it's going to catch up with them. Years ago, we had um, a situation where we had a previous um, uh, previous to the, uh, you know, 2007, 2008 recession. Um, we had a situation where we had an attorney that who actually was a very close friend of my brother's who had gone to some ma major law school, major undergrad, top attorney, it, but he was recruited every year and a half to two years um, and promised and, and got salary increases of $25,000, $30,000. So it was great where he was, but then when the recession came, he was laid off because they saw that he was not a long-term investment. They hired him because they needed him at the time. So you know what he did, Jeff? He took my advice. He did some contract work. He proved himself with a company, with a firm, and they hired him ultimately. And he's still there. He's now partner of the firm. Lessons learned. Well, I think that's, that's what you're what you're totally right about. Keep the long view. There's no Correct. doubt about it. Uh, you know, I really appreciate my weekly Mark Z moment, my dose of Mark Z. Uh, if somebody else is interested in your perspective or your help with their personnel, uh, how would they find you, Mark? Well, first of all, on our wonderful Radio Entrepreneurs website, Jeff, that is kept up so well by our team, um, or Google Mark Z, M-A-R-C, and the letter Z, or M-A-R-C-Z Legal. Dot com, marksylegal.com or 617-338-1300. I remind everybody, this is our weekly segment at the uh, Mark Z moment. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more stories. <laughs> 